Okay, so I wanted to jump in and just create a quick little video for you to follow um, to customize your confirmation emails a little bit. Um, so this will be the email once your clients or patients book online, um, they'll immediately be sent this confirmation email that obviously just one confirms the time and the date and they've got it in their, in their inbox. Um, and it can actually sync to their calendars, but you can also give them um, some really valuable information and your intake form so that it's a little bit a, a smoother entry when they come in uh, to see you. So you're going to go in Acuity down to the sidebar, you click email settings, and then at the top you'll see initial confirmation, which is what I'm talking about, the reminders you can schedule, cancellation messages, rescheduling, all of these things. So we're going to start with the initial confirmation and you're going to want to create a template for any specific kind of um, appointment that you have that might require different information. So for me here, I've used an initial consult and then also a follow up consult um, because in the initial, you'll probably have a little bit more information. That's where you'll include um, a link to the intake form. So it's a bit more detailed, and then you have the follow-up. Um, so I'm just going to pretend I didn't create this, and you just click New Template, I'll do Initial Consult, Save, and it just takes me back down to here. Um, so I'm fine with all of this as the title, new appointment, their name, what it is they're getting, the date, the time, all that good stuff. If you decide you want to change it, that's fine. Just don't get rid of any of these things because um, the way they're written, they're coded to automatically populate and you don't want to mess anything up. So for me, I would probably mess it up, so I just leave it. And all of this is fine too. What appointment, when, how long it is, and the location. Um, and then I like to add a few things under the location just to give them a bit more um, detail. So I like to include, and I wrote it out, just the parking and public transit information um, or sometimes I find like locations are a little confusing or something um, and you might want to provide more details so you just copy and paste it in here you can you know bullet underline whatever you want there's all kinds of features here um, to just leave it you can even add your phone number if they want to change anything call you and then there's that and then thank you your appointment has been successfully scheduled then I like to add in a few things um, specifically on this initial appointment. Um, so one is adding the intake form and one another is adding the cancellation policy. So again, I just wrote these out. I give you kind of a con cancellation policy I like. You can adjust it. Maybe your clinic already has one. That's fine. What am I doing here? So then again, I just copy and paste it back in. So please complete before your arrival, please complete the following form. In the next video, um, we're actually going to be customizing a, an intake form that's going to be really super effective for you. Um, and then I'll show you how to actually put it in here. So don't worry about that for now. Um, but just know that you'll have it in. And then I also like to have the cancellation policy, um, just so it's really clear. Um, it's no fun to get a last minute cancellation, I know. And so this will really, it really cuts it down and it also makes it clear that look, if they do cancel, this one's within 24 hours, they are subject to a cancellation fee. Um, and if you do have a terms of service or a privacy policy or anything like that, um, I would include a link to that there. Um, and again, in the next video module, I'll show you how you can create that because there is a whole um, intake form section where we can create both of those forms, um, but just know you'll you'll keep it in. Um, and then below that, there's buttons to change or cancel their appointment. They can add it to either of their calendars. And for me, that's all I really like to do. So then you go to the bottom, you save. You can also always preview it so you can see what it looks like. I also don't really have any colors in here, but. You can, so boom, 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 boom. Easy enough, right? So then honestly, for a follow-up consult, I would probably still put in all the direction and parking information because they just get used to seeing it there. Um, 
I would leave out the intake form unless you've got other follow-up forms you like to see them do. Um, and then I would still put in the cancellation policy in the terms of service um, every single time. If you want on the others, you can kind of put them below here, oops, below here, so that they see these changes and cancel appointment buttons first, um, but that's totally up to you. Um, and now finally, just before I sign off, um, you've got a video for the reminders that I think is better than what I can do. Um, so I'll leave that with, with Acuity. Um, but I do like to do basically the exact same thing for rescheduling. So I would create a template for an initial and I would create a template for a follow-up and I would honestly make them exactly the same as your initial confirmation emails. Because if someone is rescheduling, especially their initial, they need to get all the same information. And the same goes for the follow-up consultation. So to me, the rescheduling confirmation um, is the exact same as the initial confirmation emails. So I hope that has been helpful. I mean, it's not too tricky, but I did want to get a little bit specific on what I wanted to put in there for you. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know on the Facebook page. Thanks, guys.